Hey, what's going on guys? So, lately a few people have been asking me about my recording settings for DX Tori, and I said on a few occasions, I commented back to a few people, and I said that I would make a video on my DX Tori, DX Tori settings, sorry. Um, so now, that is uh, what this video is about. Now, um, these settings work best for me, um, and after I show you this, I'll show you my rendering settings for uh, Sony Vegas. And uh, that's uh, probably it. Um, Alright, so pretty much the first tab will just show you all of the things that you have open. So say if I opened up Minecraft, it said that Java W is open. So it pretty much just lists all of the things that you have open right now. I don't have anything open besides Fraps, which is recording this video, as you can see over the top right, and DX Story. So those are the only two things I have open. So there's nothing on this list. But if you go ahead to the second tab, this is what will um, display your FPS when you uh, have DX Story open. So I, mean, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but if I have Minecraft open... Is it going to work? No, but DX Tori um, should have the FPS counter right in this corner. It's in the top left corner um, when you, uh, if you if you haven't changed it, it's, it's originally in the top left, but I changed it to the top right because I'm used to having it at the top right. But you can change it to whatever you want. Now, I changed the coloring around a little bit. My non-recording status is yellow and my... Recording status is blue. Um, you obviously you can change it to whatever color you want. You can have it as pink if you want for Daniel. I know Daniel likes pink, so you can even change it to pink. And I have use default settings checked. Uh, video FPS checked. Write file FPS checked. And recording status checked. Now, if we head over here, this the third tab is where you're saving your recorded videos too. Now if you just click this button right here as you can see here you go to my computer you go to my hard drive and then after you're in my hard drive you will click on oh oh oh, oh wrong hard drive you click on this one oh then the X story videos and the video files will be in here um now, as you can see, video files are pretty large, so make sure you have enough room on your hard drive to support um, the video files. So, now that you have the selected area for your uh, for your um, hard drive, so you uh, just click this, this add arrow, or not arrow, this add button right here, and has like a little open folder, and you just, you know, choose the spot to put your uh, your videos now um yeah this local disk C is just my boot drive and my drive that I have some programs on and then this is my storage drive right here um but yeah I I record my videos on the two terabyte just because I have all of that room on there and um, I want to keep my SSD as you know clean as possible with um, minimal stuff on it so I barely have anything on there besides just a few key programs and of course Windows alright so now that you have that done if you um if you click this little I would call this like a speedometer you just click on that and you hit run it'll give you your your megabytes per second obviously mine are mine's low right now since I'm using my hard drive that I'm using to uh, to record this video on that I have the Tori on too um, on at the same time so obviously I'm not gonna get that high of uh, write speed but um yeah when I'm not recording or don't have anything else open or uh, when I'm not recording yeah I get 80 megabytes per second, and yeah, now, I would at least try to have a decent speed on your hard drive, 
Um, I think maybe 50 and above should be fine. Other than that, you might have a little bit of lag when you're recording, but I don't know. Yeah, I think 50 and above should be fine. Tell me if you guys uh, have a lower write speed, or yeah, write speed, and if it's lower and if you lag or not. Now here's just the hotkeys hot keys to start and stop recording and uh, screenshot key. So I just changed my start and stop capture key to F9 and my screenshot is just the uh, the right arrow on my keyboard. But you can change that to whatever you want. Now this is where all of the important settings come into play. Now, alright, so for video codec, I have Dixtory video codec, and if you click on, I don't know what this is, it looks like a, um, what are those things called? I can't think of the name of them. I don't know, clippers? It kind of looks like clippers. I don't know, this picture's really small. But, um, if you click on that, you'll have format, and you'll have four four options that you can choose from true quality high quality medium quality and low quality now I use low or low I use medium quality because I can't see difference between medium and high and true and the medium quality seems to work for me the best and the quality seems to come out all right and I do not have compression checked because I had that checked I think in the beginning and my audio kept desyncing so I have that unchecked. Maybe it'll work for you. Just mess around with it before you actually actually record a legit video. But yeah, I'm using medium quality. My frame rate is at 29.97. Output is file output. Format is AVI. I have the mouse cursor included. Uh, so you guys can see what I'm clicking on. For, for example, if I'm playing Minecraft and I open up my inventory and I move something, you can see my mouse and what I'm hovering over and whatnot. And also for scaling, you might have it at percent already, but change it to size and for width do 1280 and for height do 720. And um, obviously if you wanted to do 1080p, if you have a 1080p monitor, you can do 1080p or 920 by 1080. And if you're wondering what resolution you have, you right click on your desktop and you click screen resolution and it'll tell you your resolution of that specific monitor that you're using okay so now that we're done with this let me change this back 720 all right all right I think that's pretty much it for video settings now if we head over to audio now, this may vary for you. I have my microphone, which is my Logitech USB headset, and I have my volume all the way down, 0% on this. That's how um, my audio quality comes out pretty good. If I had it on like 20 or 50, it'd be scratchy and it'd be annoying. That's why I had to scrap a few videos. Um, I know one, for example, was Elevation. But, um, yeah, so I have mine at zero. Screw around with your settings and uh, try to find the perfect amount. Um, if we head over, if you want to add another, another, um, what is it called? Another audio track, you just click this arrow and... If you want to, if you want to get game audio or anything else, you just get uh, your speakers or head headphones or whatever, and that's that. Now this is just a screenshot. This is just simple. You can just do whatever you want. 1280 by 720, and you're good with that. Now, okay, so this is advanced settings. I don't have anything checked here. But one thing that you should always change is when you first get DX Tor, you should probably have automatically one processing thread um, enabled at the moment. Now, if you want to record, this may help you out a little bit. 
depending on how many, um, depending on what your processor is, you will have usually twice the amount. So if you have a dual core, you should have four threads. If you have a quad core, you should have eight threads. And let me see here, six core, I think you'll have 12 threads. And eight core, 16 threads, but no one, I'm pretty sure <laughs> not too many people have an eight core. But yeah, um, a lot of laptops usually only have four threads, but definitely make sure you have your processing threads the highest it can be. And um, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, there you go. So those are my DX Tory settings. Now I'm going to quickly go ahead and just open up Sony Vegas. And let me just get a video of Anthony singing. Turn this down. There you go, there's Anthony singing. Okay, now that you have Anthony singing, uh, this is these are the settings I use for Sony Vegas. Now, first thing I do when I import, I go to properties, disable or uncheck maintain aspect ratio and uh, change smart resample to disable resample and then if you come up to this little little box under make movie it's the video or the project properties now the template I use is HD V720 um, P 30 frames per second. Yeah, 1280 by 720, 29.97 FPS frames per second. So this one right here. And got field order on none. Frame rate is 29.970. And TSC, if you're in, what is it? If you're in, I think Europe, I believe. I might be wrong, but if you're in Europe, I believe the format there is. PAL, P-A-L, <laughs> but um, other than that, full resolution rendering quality is at best, and the interlaced method is none, and if you want to have these settings as soon as you open up Sony Vegas, click or check start all, start all new projects with these settings, and hit apply, and then OK, and then what I like to do with my videos is just... Daniel told me a way to do this, but add a fade. So it starts off low, Anthony singing, then it goes to normal volume, and same with the video track. It'll fade in. But um, other than that, that's really all I do. I add another fade at the end. Yeah, Daniel told me how to... Uh, fade everything in at once, but I'm not too sure how I forgot. And then after that, render all, or render as, under project, and then you can choose a place to put it. Of course, I have all of these videos from uh, whatever. But yeah, save a, save a folder and then, or make a folder where you can save your videos if you don't have one already. And then go to custom template, and then leave the audio the way it is. Under video, mode should be CVR, format should be WMV9 or Windows Media Movie or Windows Media Video 9. Image size should be high definition 720 or 1280 by 720. Uh, pixel aspect ratio should be a square. Frame rate should be 29.97 and TSC or you can change it to PIL, PAL if you need to. And frames per second is 5. Overwrite default compression buffer is checked and it's 3 seconds. Video smooth, this is 100. Bit rate is 6. Six, what is this, megabytes? Second, I think that's what it is. And under project, video rendering quality is at best. Now, 
the, yeah, this is under Windows M Media Video, and then you know you can just uh, click the star, and you'll have that favorited. That's it, and then you just hit render, and your video will start rendering. And uh, that is pretty much it. I have a nice video of Anthony singing, but um, I don't want to render that. But other than that, that is pretty much it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And um, yeah, now you guys know my recording and rendering settings. So yeah, so yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, also to leave a comment if you guys have any problems with anything and um other than that that is pretty much it this actually turned out to be a pretty long video so i'm going to go ahead and end it off here so thank you guys for watching and i will see all of you guys later